Hello, this is Tour, and that was ole, 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 because I'm going to prepare something from Spain, and it's called sofrito. Now, sofrito is the base that you create when you cook in stews and some rice or beans or whatever. In Puerto Rico, the sofrito takes a little bit of work, but the one I'm going to make today is not from Puerto Rico, it's from Spain. And this one create the base for some people use it for paella and others use it for like arroz caldoso, which is a typical uh, uh, Spanish uh, plate or meal from Spain or other stews. And this one is much more simpler because it requires less ingredients. So I'm going to use just the basic ingredients. Some people add other things. But this is going to be a very simple one, okay? So don't go nowhere because I'm going to show you. Talk to you later. So what do I have? I have tomatoes, onions, chop, chop, garlic. I use a uh, three teeth and I chop it. Salt, I'm using regular salt. Paprika, about spoon and a half. Uh, sweet uh, red pepper or bell pepper, green pepper, which is the sweet one, olive oil, and some saffron. This one from Spain, which I'm going to fold inside this aluminum foil because I'm going to roast it. So I have the stove on high. It's been heating up for like a minute now. So I'm going to put the saffron, which is covered in this aluminum foil. And just leave it there for like 10 seconds. Five, six, seven, ten seconds maybe. Then you turn it around. Leave for another seven to ten seconds. And that roasted and give it that nice flavor. So I put my heat kind of medium high for now. I add the first uh, the olive oil, then the onions and the red and green peppers. And I've been doing this for like three minutes now. Softening the onions and a little bit of the pepper. I'm just going to take a while. Now the peppers you can cut in little squares. Add them because of what's going to happen at the end. I'm going to add the tomatoes. Continue the process. Then to add the paprika. Some salt. Why not, right? That way I don't have to add salt. Much salt during it when I'm cooking my regular meals. Move it a little bit, stir it. You know what? I'm going to add the garlic. Did a little bit more. A 
let it soften more so it gets the flavor. And now I'm going to get my cover and I'm going to cover off for a little bit. Notice I haven't added the saffron yet because I want to wait a little bit longer. So I moved the heat to medium low for now. Cover the thing and put my timer for 20 minutes. I'm not going to check it out in 15. Um, within the 10 minute mark, I'm going to add the saffron to start getting the juices and flavor. But for now, I'm going to wait 10 minutes, add the saffron and then stir it a little bit, cover it back up and see what's up. It reached the 10 minute mark. I did stir it from time to time. I tasted it, thought I needed a little bit more salt, so I added. But now I'm going to put the saffron on it. Going to stir it. And I'm going to cover it for another maybe eight minutes. Going to lower the heat let it cook now if you would have cut uh, the peppers and everything very thin you know like little squares and you would have gone through the 15 20 minutes process of cooking you might not have to go through this process at all because everything will caramelize and will kind of liquefy but I like to do things fast even if it means me uh, cleaning more dishes so I went the route of juicing. So what do we have here? Mm -hmm. Let me taste it. Mm. Very good, huh? Tour here again, final product, my sofrito. Now, I have two touches that I add, personal touches. One, I use the uh, food processor. Now, um, typically, and that's why I have the papers kind of long. I didn't uh, feel that I needed to cut them so tiny and let it caramelize, and maybe use the, the hand one to mix everything and, and caramelize it more. Um, so I went the route of the food processor. It saved me time cutting some of the things. And you saw how it looked. Now, if you don't use a food processor, by all means, cut things tiny. The second thing I did, I don't tell the people from Spain, the people from Spain, don't tell them this because they're going to hate me. But I like to add my touch sometimes once I see how things are done, I start imagining how I can add to the flavor to my taste. So while I was cooking, I added one spoon of sugar, one big spoon of sugar, you know, a tablespoon. And I cook it and, you know, I have a generous amount of salt too, and I have paprika. So I wasn't too worried because I was cooking it and that is soft. And what it did is it enhanced the flavor of the sweet peppers. You know, enhanced a little bit, you know. And I like the taste. Like technically I could taste it and it was delicious. Now, you can do a version without the sugar. Uh, you can do a version without the saffron because you don't really need it. I love, although I like that extra flavor. And you can make it more straight up Spain type. But I like to add my touch because 
I've been cooking for years, and I look at this from other countries, and I said, you know, let me add something to it just to see the flavor, because I'm a person of the senses. And I love this. Uh, this, is, this turned out wonderful. It's a little bit warm still, but here we come. Arroz caldoso. Next meal, maybe. Next meal, maybe. Depends how I feel. Love you all. I hope you enjoyed this. Take care. And ole, 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 ole. Ole, ole. Back to you later.